What's going on guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer. Day 3 of 1.9. Exciting stuff. I wanted to say at the top of this video something I forget to do way too often and it's bad that I do. But uh, if you're new here and you like what I do and you're watching me all the time anyway and you're not already subscribed, you should consider hitting the subscribe button. It helps me a ton. But more importantly than that even, hit the like button please. Uh, that's like the most helpful thing you can do to support my channel. It boosts me in the algorithm. It gets more people watching. It is genuinely the number one thing you can do to help me. But also, like I said, consider subscribing, please. All right. We're close to 3,000, by the way. Very close. Uh, only 80 away. And that's a pretty big milestone. I'm very excited to uh, have reached that far. And you guys, of course, without you guys, I wouldn't have reached that far. So just thank you for everything. Um, yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. Let's get into the actual game. Um, let's bring Slave, because he did get buffed, and I am curious if he is now... Uh, the thing about Slave is, is I never considered him to be bad. I, he's, he's like a very unique skull in the way you play him. He's like one of the only skulls I consider to be exclusively support, but the devs did buff his damage, so maybe now he can do a little more. The biggest problem with Slave when it comes to offense is um, when it comes to all of the main archetypes in Skull the Hero Slayer, like uh, crit items, ability spam items, and so on and so forth, he's not really good at any of them. Uh, he's, he's like a horrible crit item user. And ability spam items is something he can do, and I often tend to favor ability spam items when I play him, but he's not like super good at it or anything, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know how much you can do for this character in that regard, but... Like, he's still a really good character, because, like, the level of support he applies to a run is, like, very nice. Also, I'm going to bring Gargoyle along. There's been Gargoyle discourse in the Skull community. Um, like, this is a character I thought, just without a shred of doubt, would have gotten balance changes in the, um... Actually, not even balance changes. I suspected, uh, like, a almost complete overhaul for Gargoyle in, um, in 1.9. And it's not because he's bad. It's because people don't like him. Like, I would say this is consistently the least favorite skull in the entire game for pretty much everyone. Um, a lot of people think he's bad. He's not. I'm telling you right now, if you think Gargoyle is bad, it's because you do not know how to play him. He's actually a very good character. He's very powerful. He has a lot going for him. Uh, the main things that I like about Gargoyle is um, this ability right here, Petrify. It's one of the stronger abilities in the entire game. Uh... Drops on- hang on, I just want to read it to y'all. For the love of God, please. Uh, I'll just read it like this. Drops on the ground in the form of an invulnerable statue dealing magic damage. Its form can be maintained for two more seconds after landing. It's free invulnerability that you have on demand pretty much all the time. Um, which is very, very, like, cannot be understated how useful that is. Now, the, the problem with Gargoyle in this sense is all of his other abilities are- like, pretty bad. Um, Eye of the Gargoyle is fine, but I am just not a fan at all of his stack skills, which means, you know, an otherwise skull that would be good at ability spam on him sadly isn't. At least in my opinion. I don't know. It could just be I need to get good with them, but they, I don't know. They're just weird. But another great thing about Gargoyle, which is very similar to uh, Petrify, is he has an iframe swap. This, he's invincible when he does that, which is also, just obscenely, like, there's so much value in that. Um, I don't know, like, he has a lot going for him that I think people just don't don't pay attention to. Uh, and the main reason people don't like him, and it's completely fair, like, I understand why people don't like Gargoyle. Um, I just don't, I, I, I wish people were more honest when they argued reasons why they don't like Gargoyle. Um, the main reason people don't like him is because of his, um, ice, I call it ice physics. Like, he has, like, perma ice physics on him, where, like, he's always slipping and sliding. He, like, has no traction, um, because he's flying around all the time. That shit's annoying as fuck. Like, everyone knows ice physics in games are, like, notorious. Uh, also, I am actually in a bit of trouble here for not help helping the Donkon Knights and also losing my reassembly. Let me focus for a second. Like, this is actually... This is gnarly.
All right, we got it. Uh, that was close, though. Holy fuck. They gave me money, too. That's, like, the worst. I, I would have much rather have had uh, bone shards. Also, the rest of this Act 1 is going to be a little precarious, but uh, let me let me finish my Gargoyle rant. One thing that people unironically super underestimate, it's only something I recently discovered thanks to a community member, is Gargoyles, um, he has like this inherent limitation on his dashes where if you dash more than three times in the air, he cannot dash anymore, but he has a triple dash, which is really cool. But um, something cool you can do with this, uh, with Gargoyle, is if you hold down when you're dashing, and you're jumping, you can actually perma dash. Like you can reset his dashes and permanently dash. And you can, uh, if you hold down and a movement key, you can do this, um, which is uh, genuinely obscenely powerful. And I think people underestimate it. Um, if you get a bunch of items that activate on dash, you can just like have permanent uh, dash item activation. It's like something really only Gargoyle can do. Um, and it unironically makes him like arguably, in my opinion, factually, but like people can make arguments about Pikeman. Um, I think it makes him the strongest dash user in the entire game, personally. Like if you're doing a chase, um, if you're doing a chase build, like Gargoyle is your guy. Like he is the number one chase guy. It, it, uh, there are arguments to be made about um, obviously Pikeman, but um, I've always been of the opinion when it comes to chase, that chase is more of a, uh, like, when you're building cha around chase, you're more building around the items uh, that that activate when you dash more than dash damage. And obviously, Pikeman, people assume he's the best dash user because his dash deals uh, damage. And, you know, it's not like a tackle dash, like a, a single dash, like tackle dashers. So, uh, like, he's, um, I don't know, he just has, like, that reputation. But I'm personally Team Gargoyle being the best dash user. Um, but either way, all of that to say, like, like, the discourse around Gargoyle kind of frustrates me because, like, everyone tries to make arguments to why he's weak, and that's why they don't like him. But he's not weak. You just don't know how to play him, and you don't want to learn how to play him. And that's understandable, because, like, the, the movement mechanics on this character are, like, atrocious. Like, genuinely atrocious. Uh, but I'd rather people say, like, I just don't like Gargoyle because of his inherent, like, fucked up movement or something. Or, like, some other reason why you don't like him. Rather than argue that he's weak. Uh, because he is not weak. He's actually powerful. So, that's all I wanted to say about that. Uh, and now I'm taking Gargoyle. Not committing to Gargoyle. If I find something cooler, I'll ditch him. But I wanted to have a chance, maybe, to show people how powerful Gargoyle can be. Uh, because he is very good. He's a very good character. I would even, like, he, he's not, he's like high a maybe even low s i put him in high a though i think in my tier list which is completely reasonable for him so you know i'm not saying you have to like gargoyle or anything like that uh, i'm just saying you know if you think he's weak you should reconsider because he's actually not he's very good all right rant over uh let's hope uh, that we can get some uh something archetype defining here I have Brawl right now and I have Aftershocks because Stun got like giga buffed in this update. So if I if I could build a Stun rev from, uh, from here, that would actually be pretty cool. I'm kind of curious to see if uh, just how giga buffed it got. Um, like so many Stun items got like really positive changes. I would love to get Armor if you're on this run. That's like would be just so sick. Thankfully. Um, I have enough damage here to stop her. I actually had a, a moment on Twitch um, recently where, um, like, I got into a, a, a fight with her in Act 1 here, and I literally, no matter what, could not kill her. Like, she was literally invulnerable, and she kept healing constantly, and I actually had to end up restarting the run because, like, it was literally impossible to beat her. Um, so, <laughs> it's so, uh, so fucked up. Um... What do we got here? Lie Weasel, super not interested. This is only five bone shards. Steel armor is interesting. Uh, Fortress did get buffed. Um, gain five shields for three seconds upon using a skill. We could get a stack skill. I don't, I don't, I, personally, I'm still not sold on Fortress being good. Um, but people want me to try it. I can consider building around Fortress on this run. Um... It would be if I could get Dark Paladin, that would be a good run to build around Fortress on because Dark Paladin, in my opinion, got 
obscenely giga buff to the point to where he's uh, one of the best skulls in the entire game, I think. Like, genuinely. I can't believe that's coming out of my mouth, but, uh, like, they really buffed our boy. And, uh, he's, he's so good now. I'm really excited to show people. But if you, uh, if you're on PC and you already have the update, just try it for yourself. Like, He's so much more consistent than he used to be. He used to be one of the most inconsistent skulls in the game, one of the least new player-friendly skulls in the game. Now, I would even wager he's like a very new player-friendly skull because they uh, buffed his shield generation that he gets um, when his meter fills up to 20. And also, he gets way more energy whenever he casts skills and stuff. So, it's... I don't know, man. The devs cooked hard with this update. I think this update's very, 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 very good. Um... 1.9 is like definitely one of my more favorite updates from them. I mean, Southpaw just, they cook all the time. They cook, they slay, they serve. Yas, yeah, Southpaw. That's all I gotta say about that. Keep it coming, Southpaw. Sadly, we have a useless uh, halfling here, but most of, the, most of the time these days when I see a halfling, she's kind of useless. I free her anyway because while the heal, of course she gives me my dear friend. Uh, while the heal is obviously useful and it can come in clutch, I'd much rather have, uh, uh, like, the slime have more likelihood to show up or something. So, any number of NPCs. Back in the day, I would always uh, keep the halfling for, like, a, a, a clutch heal in Act 4 or something. But I'm much better at the game than I was even, like, during the Dark Mirror era. So, things change. Okay, I'm just being knocked around everywhere. There's also, you know, not to get too much more into a Gargoyle rant, but there's a lot of um, really interesting and cool builds that you can do with Gargoyle. Like, he's a, he's very versatile. But I, I don't want to get too in the weeds again with a Gargoyle rant, but all to say... Oh, man, fuck, that sucks. All to say, give him a chance. Like Gargoyle, like Gargoyle, screaming a thousand times like Sammy Classic Sonic fan. You better like fucking Gargoyle or else... Uh, anyways, Wisdom Prince's Box with Revenge is actually pretty sweet. Um, I can get rid of this for that. I mean, that is like the kind of Prince's Box you could conceivably keep the entire run. Could also take this just to have Revenge. Because like, Hate Stone is a good item. Let's just ditch this stupid approaching death, because I'm definitely not building Poison Gargoyle. Though I will say, Poison uh, Gargoyle is like, it's not like inconceivable. You could build a Poison Gargoyle and it would it would work. Because Poison is like a very unique status in the sense of how it scales. You can literally build Poison on anything. Also, I forgot Treasure on the pedestal. Wow. That is not something I do often. But, also maybe I should keep this to hedge my bets for Fortress. Uh, you know, it's just, eh, fuck yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not building Fortress. You know what, if, if people start coming to me and telling me that Fortress, uh, four builds are good, maybe then I'll try, wait, what the hell is that? Is that, oh, that must be the Steel Shield. I've literally never seen that, because I've never picked up this item. That's actually a pretty fucking cool looking shield. Why is it only, how long does it last? For three seconds? The shield goes away after three seconds? Are you joking? Who would this be good on? It'd be good on like Ninja. Kind. I mean, it's not even good on Ninja though. It's a maximum of 15, right? Man, dog, the devs are so stingy with shield. I don't understand why. I understand if you make something that's too powerful with shield, it can get out of control, but like for the love of Pete. Also prisoner, huh? Sure. Prisoner runs are just fun. They're also scary. I've lost a lot of prisoner runs lately. Oh my god. Okay, Phaser, fucking chill. <laughs> what the hell? Dog. For the love of Jesus. Um, but yeah, I've lost a lot of prisoner runs lately. Um, it, and part of the problem with me and prisoner is like prisoner is a skull that definitely incentivizes you to not swap. Um, but I just enjoy swapping so much in this game that I often still do swap and prisoner's swap is like definitely top three worst swaps in the entire game it's so bad of a swap I can't even believe that it exists it's 
magic damage that uh, uh, inflicts bleed. What the fuck? <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Maybe this becomes a Giga Prisoner run. Maybe I don't swap on this run. I don't know. I, I'll vibe it out. I'll suss out the vibes. Okay, I did not like that stun. <laughs> Dog throwing me off. Why is my shield not disappearing until I... Maybe... I don't know. You know what? It's That's probably three seconds. It felt longer, but... Yeah, I don't know how to feel about that stun. That stun got me kind of acting... It got me feeling kind of fucked up. I'll just... That's what I'll say about that. It's like, you're throwing off my rhythm. Uh, my Yggdrasil autopilot. Owie. Oh, Jesus. Yiggy. Chill the fuck out, dog. Please. But I think we're stopping him before we... Uh, before he ults. Almost entirely because I think we're stunning him so much. Like, I don't think we're doing giga damage or anything, but, like, we're just stunning him so often that, like, he really just can't move. Good Yugi. It's always nice to get a good, quick, easy Yugi. What do we got? Garbage. Though there is Jenny's Chain Sickle, which is one of those cool things that you can put on Gargoyle. Uh, but I honestly don't think this is the build for it because we do have this uh, prisoner now. And obviously, Prisoner would be like one of the worst Jenny's Chain Sickle users in the game. Um, also, this was behind the the HP. So, man, that is like one of those things that the devs should just like implement to where this can't possibly happen. Oh, yeah. And also, here's Symbol of Toughness, which got buffed. Um, it could actually be decent now. I'm really... I mean, so far this build's bizarre. I need to gain some, uh, I need to gain some level of, like, focus. Hmm. Oh, yeah, and it's also not a physical item. Okay, that makes it a little better. Maybe now I actually take it. Not that our physical is bad, right? I mean, it's actually higher than my magic. How is that? We have wisdom. I'm, this is my only physical scaling. This scales my physical. Oh, no, I thought this only scaled your physical after you stun. Okay, so this is a flat 50. Okay, now it makes more sense. Hmm, I also don't think these two skulls are particularly good users of, of a build that focuses around this. Could take <laughs> Eldred's Chamber Pot. Ugh, gross. I hate this item. I really do. This item makes no sense to me. Like, there, I don't see any any instance where you ever take Eldred's Chamber Pot. Because, like, the thing is, now this has, like, a... When it breaks, it gives you something. But it gives you something that's just worse than this. Like, it's just explicitly worse uh, a World Tree Seed. And they have the same inscriptions. They have the same inscriptions. Why, Southpaw? You have to do something about this item. It's so bad. I don't get how it still exists in its current form. I genuinely don't understand. The only significance, or the only reason to ever take this item is to prove that you did a, like a, at least close to a no-hit run. Because if you can get this unbroken to the end of a run, you, uh, you, you did something right. Thumbs up. Um, ditch this take the stupid world tree seed even though i didn't get the min max probably just end up ditching it somewhere along the uh oh finger flick oh okay that settles it we're we're building to stun stun is the name of the game which means we're gonna want wolf trap on our uh on our prisoner finger flick is interesting the the pr one issue i i kind of have with finger flick is it it's gonna make taking armor if you're worse which is something I kind of wanted to try because it did get buffed. But like, if you see a, a, a status curse with your status or like a status you're trying to focus, you have to take it. You have to. You have no choice. Your autonomy is forfeit. Oh, don't worry. 
Oh, I got pushed down. I wonder if it... I remember uh, in the early days of the Dark Mirror. Also, wait, how do I have 50 damage from this? I have no shields. Oh no, I have 30. Uh, shield shine? Yeah, shield shine. Okay. That confused me for like the briefest of moments. Ability Swapper, not really useful to me. Um, we already have the skills we want on my Gargoyle, or the skill I want my Gargoyle, and uh, I don't like Phaser very much, but I do really like Ice Crossbow. So I'm keeping it. Did I let her out? Yep, all right, good. Good to know. Also got a lot of money for this shop, which is nice. Give me some good shit. I need focus on this run. I mean, stun is definitely a focus, but uh, I need more giga stun items. Also, nice, nice. You love to see it. Uh, at this point, this can go. It's definitely not fortress. This is a pretty interesting item, but it's also weird. We kind of need to focus a damage type. And I'm thinking it's going to be magic, so. Dual boxes is uh, probably not worth it. They buffed this item, but it's not in... I don't know. I'm still not interested in it. Uh, pretty garbage shop across the board. Um, though the stone of the air is certainly nice. Before Leona Sisters, like we're going to max that shit out real quick. You'll love to see it. You really do. Don't fucking hurt me. Was that Hand of the Destroyer that did that shit? Uh, I'm gonna give him my money, actually. Thanks for- Oh, they just stun. My normal attacks having a 2% chance to inflict stun isn't horrible. Eh, get rid of that shit. Probably not keeping the old cross, but could keep it. Who knows? I'm going to be using my basics a lot on Gargoyle. Oh! Oh! Uh, uh, it's not like I have the buff mod on that me and Bakununo made, so he's going to be weak, boring champion. He also has Dirty Smash, Grody. Um, how do I? It is skill casting. A lot of skill casting, which is nice. If anything, I would ditch the prisoner for this. Because I want to keep the gargoyle. Let's not, let's not. Keep the prisoner. It'd be really cool if I could get him to king before we get out of act two. We are in a skull room, so it's not impossible. Give me a unique. Uh, okay, if I get e even a rare on this pedestal, I can upgrade him to king. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's make some good content today, Skull the Hero Slayer. Southpaw, like the Wizard of Oz, pulling the strings. Come on. Come on, man. We can do this. Man, Phaser does nothing here. We should still be able to easily destroy her. And now Phaser does stuff. Alright, what we got? I'm trying to make sure this... Uh, yeah, I don't want him to die just yet. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. I've done too many Dominator runs, man. I don't know. 
I like my past two videos I've had Dominator in them. I know he's cool and he's extremely overpowered, but let's play someone else today. I'm just it sucks to break a fucking net like actual legitimately gotten Dominator though. That shit that's painful. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But we did get our uh, king in Act 2. And then we also got to upgrade my gargoyle. And we got one of the stack skills, which is fine. I will probably occasionally push it. I'll probably push it more than occasionally. But um, it's also the worst one, in my opinion. Like, this is probably his worst skill. Which is not really saying too much. I don't have a high opinion on uh, any of his skills uh, that aren't um, Petrify. But Petrify more than makes up for it. And for the record, just just to um, because I should have said this earlier during when I was actually ranting about Gargoyle, but I I would be completely okay if they like remade this character to be a little less um divisive, I guess. Like get rid of some of his more odd mechanics and replace them with just generally enjoyable things. Oh, we can also get rid of this now if I want to. And I do. <clears throat> we'll see if we can get the Sun and Moon Omen going here. Our first chest. And it's not cursed. Whack. Nice try, Bozo. I like Symmetrical Lance. Better than Phaser, that's for sure. No. <laughs> nuh uh. No Gatling gunning today, please. Uh, is there a treasure chest up there? Is it behind this? Can I get these to move? No, I think that's... Wait, I do have treasure. Maybe it's behind... I don't... It... Oh, no, it's here. Okay, okay, good. Stun, please. Uh, we're looking for the lunar ring. Maybe I should delete this then. Nah. Fuck it. Purple Flurp is not as good on a build like this, because, like I said, swapping to... Oh, we have a balance goal. Alright, nice, nice. That's exactly the kind of things we want to see here. I suppose we can get rid of this now. But yeah, swapping to Unknown King is certainly, like, it. it's not, swapping isn't as good as it normally is, but it's still good. And if you're wondering why I, why I still swap on um, King runs, is because whenever you pick up a Cursed Chest, that's a universal uh, damage uh, increase on uh, a, a build. So it also applies to your partner, which, um, to me, still uh, gives reason to swap. You don't have to give me too many reasons to want to swap. Because I it's powerful. We do not want that. Come on, man. Curse chest. We can do this, man. We can do this together. You me, Skull. Make a Giga Run. I believe. I don't know about you. Wait, I don't want to let you guys escape. No, he got away! My money! Man! That was my fucking money, dog. Chest could be a cursed chest. It is not. Why, game? Just give me the fucking cursed chest. You know you want to. I know you want to. Stop playing coy. This song and dance is getting old. Give me the cursed chest. Ah, that hurt. All right, at least give me a good ability, please. Wouldn't mind getting rid of the symmetrical lens for something better. Uh, that ain't it. That's a parry, right? No, it's just the most bizarre skill of all time. Like, how the fuck are you gonna make like a make dark skull collide into a wall? It only works in rooms. 
And if we all know the golden rule in Skull is if it doesn't work on bosses, it's bad. That's why Beast Blood is bad. Okay, I don't like being stuck down here with this disaster darkly up here. Alright, I think this is almost certainly the Leona chest, uh, Leona chest or door. God, I can't talk. Yes, it is. What do you have? Nerulepsis. Uh, it's too late, but... Or, I guess it's not too late. I'm just too stubborn to swap from Gargoyle. I've already invested 30 bone shards into him. And also, I just... You know, I, I talked a lot about him. I gotta put my money where my mouth is and show people what's up. What up, dog? Homeboy. Oh, I see you brought your lady friends. I wish you would just jump down here one day and start trying to fight me. That'd be cool. Just imagine. Now talk about being shocked. Like he always makes the shock face. Oh, fuck. Okay, uh-oh. I think Satan's coming out to play, guys. Hey, on. I gotta focus. Satan's rearing his ugly head. And he's got fangs. Try and ride the merry go round. Definitely gotta be careful and picky when I choose to swap against these two. Uh, we got the short hair sister. She's the more damaged one. We gotta be careful. Thankfully, we don't have any. No, no, no. Do I have mystery? I do. All right, let's be careful. Um, mystery will occasionally proc like the the or the like the damaging effects that uh, could kill her. Let's just avoid dealing damage to her for a little bit. Uh, it is the short hair sister. Oh, wow, that looks crazy. <laughs> Dude, he's losing his fucking mind. Oh, it, no, 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 it's not the... Oh, it is the damaging effect, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, now she's near death. Uh, we want to get the other sister lower. I ain't. Wor oh no! Don't kill her, please. Leave her alone. Stay away from me, lady. I'm trying to. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. Leave me alone. Oh no! Leave her alone. She's pretty low. Now we actually want to be dealing damage to the short hair sister. Oh, we stunned her death animation. So that's fine. This is acceptable, I guess. I wanted to get a little lower, but... Oh, that was bad. I should not have done that. Iframes, you love to see it. We're dead. Oh, nope. Oh, what? I swear to God, sometimes the hitboxes in this game feel like they aren't properly set. Like, I guess maybe she touched, like, my fucking, like, edge of my hitbox and it killed me. Losing reassembly sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Um, it's definitely annoying, though. This is going to be a precarious run. If I can get the sun and, or the the lunar ring here, we can have like a, a slightly extra life. Barely an extra life, but it still counts. Uh, sadly, didn't get it. This is a fine item. Kind of. I just garbage across the board. I can take Raven Lord, I guess, but I, I don't have a particularly high opinion of this Quint. Eh, I'll grab it. I don't know. I don't like Raven Lord that much. We got 
well, we have to take this. We're probably also taking weakness exp uh, exposure, or not weakness exposure, um, go-getter. So, I don't know. Definitely precarious moving forward. We have to be careful. Okay, we're at least mowing down fools and at least doing giga damage. Applying a lot of stun, jeez. Okay, there's an NPC in there, right? Or the treasure chest or something. Yeah, I knew there was something in here. Give me the Lunar Ring, or don't. That's fine too. Whatever works for you, bud. So I did say, let's make some good content together. And so far, you're kind of fucking, you're, you're kind of dropping the ball a little bit, Skull. I won't lie. I'm Keep It Real Hacks. Okay, we're not low rolling our doors at least, so we have plenty of opportunity to make lots and lots of money. Regeneration here is kind of annoying. Owie. At least he's not launching missiles, that's all I really care about. Still got a freezer to deal with in this god awful room. Oh, we're still not done. Wow, okay. We're like really high rolling our doors. It's always hard to find a good time to activate Raven Lord. And if, you, if you're if you going through rooms quickly, it's like really hard to find a good time to activate Raven Lord. You can deflect that, you fucker. You can deflect the, like it, it, the shit he deflects is just like ridiculous. It's just still to this day find it crazy the devs were like, dude, projectile flingers have had it too good too long. We need to make an enemy that directly counters them. Because as we all know, the best skulls in the game have projectiles. Such as... <laughs> I mean, I'm a fucking hunter defender for sure. I think he's among the better skulls in uh, the game, but like, not most people don't think that. And I don't think that's the devs' opinion, though maybe it is. Got through that room really nicely, though. Hey, speak of the devil. What up, dog? Big fan. Ooh. Hell yes. This is the kind of... But it's also physical damage. We're very magic uh, heavy, but... It'll be fine. Let's drop this shit. I feel like that's what got me killed in the Leona Sisters fight. No. Eh, eh, eh. No yapping. Is this really... Because, like, now I have sunk cost fallacy, and it's kind of bugging me. Like, I'm I'm thoroughly bugged. You know what? Put dizziness on the pedestal over here. Because that shit's going... That shit's going to eat at me, man. <laughs> like, I died for that. And you're just going to ditch me? Fucking... Fucking kind of weird, bro. Okay, let's not get an ultimate golem, please. Or we are- oh, we're getting an ultimate golem, alright. Oh no, I just barely stopped it. Alright, nice. I did not want to deal with that. Also don't want to deal with you showering death on me from above, so... Nick that in the bud while we still can. Nice job, Raven Lords. That's probably the, the most useful Raven Lord has ever been. Slowly but surely pelting away at the, uh... At the freaking play armor. Nice, bro. Two thumbs way up. Whoa. I don't... You were way off the mark there, pal. Not that I'm complaining. My nose is itching. I just took damage to it. Like, I was itching my nose and I couldn't dash because I took my, uh, my hand off the mouse. Oh, yes. Let's go. That's kind of scary with my omen, though. That's... It's worth mentioning. 
Especially an omen as bad as the one we currently have. Like, genuinely, this omen is like... Oh, no! That's bad. Alright. I'll just do that before we go into this adventure fight. But this is still rough. This is still scary. I'm a big fan of uh, this uh, weapon. At least we have a heal up here. We are powerful. We have that going for us. Or, eh. <laughs> I kind of was hoping that number would be a little bit bigger than that if I'm keeping it real. I am keeping it real hacks after all. At least we were able to stop her. And... Okay, I'm, I'm honestly down to just let him ult. Excuse me? What the hell was that? That's pretty bad. I uh, can't say I like that. Now we have no cushion. Dude, he like broke right the fuck out. Evil sword is good. Yeah, evil sword is good. That's my commentary. All right. <laughs> uh, Everything's fine, dog. What? Are you guys sweating? Are you guys nervous? Shit, man. Relax. Look, guys. We're at 175, man. Everything's chill. Just go with the flow. Dude, I still can't believe he broke out of that as quickly as he did. What a fucker. Buzzsaw Cleaver. Um, probably not better than Broadsword. I mean, it is one of the better King skills, but like, we're not physical focused, we're magic focused. I mean, we're kind of both, I guess, but I don't know. It's it's a mixed damage run, but I want to be more magic focused. One thing that we certainly have going for us on this build is we are stun, and we have consistent um, sources of stun. Omen. Yes. <laughs> There's our magic. Our dense magic scaling. Um... This could probably go. This also could maybe go, but Brawl is really nice. Revenge is nice too, but... Uh, yeah. I don't like having an Omen, but an Omen as good as a Howling Egg is probably worth holding on to. Especially since it got buffed. Although, like, we would have Howling Egg activated under its old set of circumstances. Because we lost our god dang reassembly. Whoa, what is happening? What? Are you alright, dog? What the fuck? So, I think... What is happening? Is... Am I allowed to leave? Uh... <laughs> Guys? Okay. Uh, I, su uh, I suppose. I guess that's a thing that can happen in Skull. I don't like it. It's kind of odd. It makes me feel weird. But Alright, nice. See, now that's a good sign. That I can... Wait, it keeps happening. What is... Is something... Something is fishy. Could it be a mod? I think there's still one of these ogre guys walking around down here, but he's, like, invisible. What? I don't have any weird mods on. I only have a few mods on. I have... Um... Baku uh, real cooldown mod installed. Could that maybe be it? I don't think it would be it, but I don't know. Maybe it's just a glitch that's in the game now. I don't know. But that ogre, the reason I'm saying that is that ogre was supposed to explode and he didn't. 
Um, I'm not gonna trade in for 11 bone shards. Items are important right now. We definitely need some good gear. It's too late for something like this, I think. Plus it doesn't really fit what I'm doing. We do have a speed skull, but I also don't want to get bone enhanced. I, I, I don't have to actually get bone enhanced now that I think about it. But is this even what I'm looking for? We don't have rapidity. Oh no, we do have rapidity. Rapidity is nice. Maybe it's time we ditch treasure, but this this is just like kind of all over the place and bizarre. Like, cause I'm stun focused, but now I'm taking like bones. Eh, I'll do it. I'll still do it. Maybe I'll end up ditching them by the end of the run, but they'll help me for now. And having rapidity is nice. Okay, be ready for the next brawler. All right, nice. Owie. Also, Sin. Is Sin any good here? I don't think so, but maybe. Actually, uh, it could be. I do have a mod on that fixes the Druid uh, NPC, and he no longer drops the same uh, Sins over and over. So we could get, like, even the, the Wrath Sin, which is one that isn't even in the game under normal circumstances, because uh, it's, like, it doesn't have the ability to show up. We got Lust. Mana Cycle. Cooldown all... What the fuck? I don't think I've ever seen Lust either. What? Man, there's so many sins that just don't show up because this NPC is literally broken. I don't think this is particularly good because it's, once again, the rule. If it doesn't work against bosses, it's probably not that good. I think we're fine without sin. Yes, please. Literally just upgrade that shit, dog. No Chimera. Um, the longer it takes for me to get to Chimera, I would say it's, it's bad. This is a case where how rolling my doors could hurt me. Because we it's not like we have the... Uh, we don't have the Halfling that can show up and, uh, and help me if I get into a pinch. Nah, not today, Satan. You just go ahead and have your little temper tantrum. No skin off my back, homie. Okay. No, he is still summoning. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, I killed him. We're still not there. Wow. We're still not at the, uh, at the thing. This is 100% better than the, uh, than the bone. So we'll take it. Uh, is this worth it? Because this is Chimera Door. It's only a little bit of money. But we also are Gargoyle. Yeah, actually, yeah, this is super worth it. It's free with Gargoyle. Nice try. If I had skipped this, I would have uh, had people yelling at me in the comments, so. Ah! So fast. Yeah, I'll take my money. Thank you. We need better uh, bone shard uh, amounts from this. Let's see if we can't awaken our mana gauntlet here. Get that shit going before we get into the Chimera fight. This should go well for me. Oh yeah, we're doing all okay, we're we're doing good damage here. Did they fix Raven Lord? Nope. <laughs> He's just taking his sweet time. See him up there? I think they may have changed it though. Oh no, no, they kind of fixed it. They used to always, no matter what you did, like they would appear, uh, all of them would be falling down from the top. But I think they changed it in one way or another. Maybe just, just like, like they still fall from the top, but like it seems like they don't all fall from the top. So I guess it's like a, 
a slight fix. Oh no, there's still some falling from up top. No, now single file lads, come on, in an orderly fashion. Here they come, marching down the road. You love to see it. It's like ravens are supposed to fly, so it does make sense. See, now this is very tempting. We still have so. Oh, wait, uh, actually, I'm taking Evil Eye. Yeah. Evil Eye is basically if you have um, Warrior Still Mace, it turns into like a pseudo Swanisio, which is nice. It's probably Go Getter, right? Go Getter, Go Getter. Oh, yeah. Go Getter, Go Getter, Go Getter, right? No. Go Getter. And also Mystery. So, bada bing, baby. All right. Let's go. Also, can I have a Medusa, please? It's not too late to give me a Medusa game. I know you want to. I want you to do it. So, like, come on, man. I, I do like Evil Eye, but, like, it's no Medusa. Medusa is goaded. Hell yes, baby. We're still in this. We still got... Sh we can win from here. Just with a little elbow grease. Nothing wrong with a challenge run. A little struggle. Yep, we're cruising. What's my damage? It's all the good. It's all. It's good all of a sudden. I wonder what caused that. It's the howling egg. What do you got for me today, Brawl Omen? Eh? I didn't have to do that. I could just left, but fuck it. Oh yeah. All right. Well, I'm oh yaying, but I'm also sweating at the same time because you know the more of these i have the scarier the run becomes but at the same time fark it dog fark it give me something good that's good just a strict upgrade can't go wrong look at those iframes man that's my boy gargoyle I hope by the end of this run, I've convinced some people that maybe they're just should, rather than saying that Gargoyle is bad, uh, be more honest and just say they don't like him. Like, you don't have to like every skull, right? That's completely acceptable. But like, you know, Gargoyle is not bad. He is good. Like, he's just like, our poor boy just can't catch a break. Give me those freaking bone shards, dude. We're not even max skill. Like, we still got this evil sword lurking in the shadows. This evil sword's going to pop off. What are you? Gambler, eh? Big fan, but not today. Phaser, bleh, gross. Nice try, though. Um, Don't really know what I'm looking for. I guess armor fear. Oh, yeah, we don't have the omen anymore. I got excited for a microsecond. It's actually no wisdom, 100%. Yeah, wisdom. I was about to say heirloom, but nah, it's wisdom. Come here, you. Uh, I'm just gonna pop off with this. Yeah, <laughs> just kill everything up there. Like I said, it turns into like a pseudo Swanee. Obviously, not even close to as powerful, but like it has like the same general effect. Grenade? Slime kind of sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Or this ability, I should say. What do you got? Artifact Omen? Nah. No thanks. Nice try, though. 
Oh yeah, we're almost done with our evil sword because of that one room. Every anytime you see that room, it's just like makes your life so much easier if you're building a forbidden sword that has like maybe the most enemies in the game. I'd say the other contender is that other hallway room in Act Two with like uh, the um, Gatling gunners in it. Oh man, really? I'm five off. Is this bludgeon? No. Not that I would take it anyway, but like it'd be cool to have uh, a bludgeon Minotaur right about now. Oh, we don't have treasure anymore, right? I was looking for treasure. Just don't be one of the fuckers, please. Y'all know who you are. Oh my god. This might be the fucker. I, I honestly think I fear him more than I fear the Huntress. Ah, no, we're doing good damage. Okay, never mind. Though, still very scary, but, um, the, whenever I'm... I always fear this guy more when I, I'm on, a, like, a fucked damage run. A, a run that doesn't quite have the, the juice. But this run has the juice. Yeah, we got the juice, though. I still have to be wary here. Use my iframes. That ult can fuck you up. And this guy in general can fuck you up. This guy is a fucker, but we got his ass. Oh, justice served. I was actually hoping I see this. Um, can I fit it? Is there anything here that makes sense to ditch? No. Well, maybe. Um, <clears throat> people might say brawl, but brawl is genuinely very, very good. Um, I really don't think there is. But this got buffed, and uh, it's a pretty significant buff. Increases my physical and my... Wait, do we have execute? No. Okay, well that pretty much sells it. I'll just take the bone shards. But it would have been cool. I wish I would have seen it earlier. Because I think it's now actually a, a pretty good item. And here's the thing. People um, kind of doo-dooed on it. I never thought Justice Served was bad. It wasn't like great but it was usable but like giving it stats and lowering the the time interval is nice oh there's our evil sword nice just <laughs> yeah now we're just like the most terrifying thing in the world when you see me coming just swatting constantly and I have like all these explosions and, and beams coming out of my hands. Absolutely horrifying. If you see this, you're dead. Oh, that hurt. Okay. <laughs> it's got to remember how much damage I take whenever anyone even so much as glances at me. Ooh. Holy fuck. Dog. Dog. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. I have to I have to focus. Holy fucking shit, dude. I'm probably not going to talk much moving for uh forward a little bit. This is the at, this is the danger of king runs. Whoa! What? You're alive? I don't think I can lay out that remaining one. Okay, we're at the shop. I'm probably not letting out this remaining one. Also, I'm gonna... I'm just leaving. Holy fuck, dog. Man, what a... F oh, I fed the cat. Okay. Man, dude. Holy mother of God. I actually thought I was about to lose that run. I came dangerously close. Okay, we'll make up for not laying the remaining one out with this. That's like one of the only rooms in the game where releasing an NPC is like actually extremely dangerous. 
Man, this is... They're throwing all the stops at me here. Uh-uh-uh. Hello? <laughs> is there still spheres coming? No. All right. Jesus Christ, man. Jones actually very scary right now. Dark Hero is too. I have to put my gamer goggles on if I want to win this run. If I want to make it to Jones, I have to put my gamer goggles on. Okay. Jeez, man. <laughs> God, dude, this shit's got fucked up fast. Oh, there's our slime. I actually didn't think I was going to see his ass. If it uh, gives me the howling egg, I literally cannot take it. What are you? Cleaver 4? Broadsword's probably better. This is... No, we're not at the drone uh, room yet. Just insane. You fucker. God damn it, slime. Why are you like this, man? They really are trying to kill me. This is so fucked up, dog. No. You ain't throwing out any more of those. At least he just exploded into red mist. Man, I have so much core quartz on this run just because of how many rooms we've been in. Like, we've gone in every fucking room, basically. Good damage. Really good damage. Is that real? It is real. Holy mother of God. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, that's Wisdom 4, right? That's what that was. Yeah, okay, that's Wisdom 4. Okay. Still crazy, though, but... I might take Brawl off the pedestal and buy, uh... I might buy Heirloom. Okay. How many curse chests do we have? Two? Not bad. Not for excuse me, forgetting him in act two, that's kind of annoying, but like I kinda tend to find curse chests are extremely uh, hard to find. If you get a lot of curse chests, you're lucky. These don't hurt me, but I'm gonna dodge them anyway, just for overabundance of caution. She ulted. Okay, that's fine. Though. All right, we're through her. That's all that matters. Uh, we can get our last resistance back now, and we got the orbs, which means we almost certainly ditch. Um, actually, how much money do I have? What I can do here is actually get both of my pedestals, because I can take this. Uh, ditch this, but I, I want Brawl. I actually do want Brawl. 
Brawl is so nice. In fact, why am I so ready to get rid of Brawl? The more I think about it, the more it doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't know why I was so ready to ditch Brawl. We we, we want Brawl. Brawl is good damage. Um, but I also want Heirlooms. It's, it's problematic. Alright. Um, the third last resistance. Third time's the charm, as they say. We This is the last one we'll need. <laughs> I mean, that's just factual. We can't get another one, so... Get a little bit more damage going. Why the hell not? Good numbers, man. Those are good numbers. And that's... Now, this ain't even wisdom enhanced. This is just, like, my actual magic. Oh, God. Ah, oh, dude. I'm going to have to play so fucking carefully. And I am one of the most reckless people to ever pick this game up. Fifteen HP barrier is nothing. Man. <laughs> oh, I, I, okay. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought for some reason I had a pedestal slot open. I don't. Um. Never saw Medusa, which is fucked up. But I'll buy this, even though I just said fifteen HP barrier is nothing. I'm so fucking scared, man. All right, here's my kit. Oh, 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 but look at that number, though. That's real. That's not wisdom, by the way. Oh, no, it was wisdom. Okay. Never mind. I lied. I lied. What can I say? I love lying. All right. Let's see how this shit goes, man. I have to play off my gourd. I have to play so well. I'm so scared. Every little decision I make matters. But we do got the giga damage. So. It is what it is. Also, we're going to get stun enhanced, which got giga buffed. I don't know, man. We, this is going to be a big hurdle, though, getting past this guy. Oh, I got a gargoyle dash limited. Okay, I'm fucking up. Damn, he tried to get my ass. Ugh. Oh, he's doing this. Okay. All right, through that. That's good. Aw, oh, man. Fuck. Took that extra damage at the end. That could be... If we lose last resistance, I... it's going to be rough. Oh no! I fucked it up. Now I have to actually worry about even getting out of the fight. Oh, I'm so lucky. Yo, I just go crazy with my basic. I do remember that my basic is powerful. Uh, here comes the siphon. How did I escape that? Okay, we have to worry about the meatball here. If the meatball shows up, I think I guarantee lose my uh, last resistance. 
If I can just get... If I can get past this, which I can, because I can... We can guarantee... Yeah, okay. Kept it! We kept the fucking last resistance, dude. Even though I fucked it up at the very start of the fight. Ugh! <laughs> Woo! Okay. But I can't let a mistake like that happen in the Dark Skull fight. I don't think I can even swap to my king at all during the Dark Skull fight. Because his swap is so atrocious. I, I have to decide which one I want between Gargoyle and King and, and stick to it. And I'm pretty sure I want Gargoyle. Whew, man. This is going to be... If this loses, I'm still putting it up. Because uh, there is something to be learned from this. Which is... <laughs> Chris Chester is fucking scary. But, um... Like, regardless if it wins or loses, I'm putting it up. Uh, this is insanely powerful. Uh, increased stun duration by 2.5 more. Though, I think Finger Flick lowers it, right? Yeah, so... Basically just getting back to about where it normally would be. Maybe a little less. But we're not so much concerned about stun duration. Alright, I'm gonna go into my focus mode, so bear with me. Okay, we're sending him into the ult. That's nice. Okay, that's not nice, though. Oh, wow, that, like, covered the entire fucking battlefield. Oh, I swapped. Why'd I do that? Okay, thank god that went way the fuck over there. Oh, no. Oh, it's unstoppable. Ah, no! I'm just keeping my distance from him. Oh, you fucker. Okay. Not great, but could have been worse. Don't know why I tried to keep close to him. I, I'm going to be very, very cautious during this. One hit from him and he could easily just kill me instantly. It would not even be a thing. Like, if he hits me even once here, I could just insta-die. So, respect. Really, something I should do more often is respect this guy. He's, like, obscenely... Uh, like, if I'm ever going to lose to Dark Skull, it's because I did something wrong during this portion of the fight. Okay, I'm actually very lucky there that I didn't take more damage. We can use our Petrify here. Nice. This is where we're going to really just run wild and try and kill him. Oh yeah, something I, I didn't mention, though I'm sure if you play Gargoyle enough you know, but um, when you get him to Legendary, his Petrify has Slowness on it, which can be good, and it can also be very uh, bad. Uh, slowness is a bit of a mixed bag. You have to be pretty experienced to use it correctly, so be wary of that as a new player. I should also stop yapping. See how it, it throws off timings and stuff? Okay. 
We're going through the Giga ult, which is fine. I'm completely okay with going through the Giga ult. See what I mean by the fucking timings? We're really hoping and praying for um, for speed skull uh, form here. We have petrified to get through this. Oh, well, I fucked up and uh, used that. That does nothing here. He's unstoppable. Oh, he took my fucking... Ah, man, I was thinking. Like, we can guarantee keep our... Oh, God. Oh, God. oh wow. Uh, I was thinking we can guarantee keep our... Um, our um, last resistance if he doesn't fling himself at me. And what did he do? He flung himself at me. And there was not much I could do. We didn't have Petrify. Definitely a Tibia run. Um, but this is also not a guaranteed Alexander by any stretch. I have to focus during the Alexander fight as well. Also a fight where I can't really swap. But the king has done his job. The king has provided me with a, a fuck ton of damage percent. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the min-max. I am upset with uh, Alexander right now. Won't lie. He did, like, the one thing I... Like, the only thing I care that he doesn't do here is uh, put up the pillars. Also, I hope he doesn't go into the all uh, be invulnerable, which he didn't. But he's going to do it now, I think. So we have to sit through this. It's fine. Or it's... It's not inherently not fine, but it could not be fine. He's slownest. This is a good uh, thing for him to be doing here. Alright, good phase one, Alexander. Very good. Uh, definitely what we need to see here for a victory but obviously i have to add, do well here and something horrible could happen here like um he shoots the laser beam and i lost my gargoyle dashes because i was in the air and i did it three times that's something i need to be wary of might make it worth going out into king here for that let's get our tibia It happened, it happened. That's exactly what happened there. Man, that is so fucked. Oh no, I don't know if we're getting out of the hood on this one, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're dead. Yeah. All right, we'll do a post-mortem. Man, I, I literally talked about the things that I needed to avoid doing there and I did them anyway. Fucked up, but it's not a big deal. Let's just uh, talk about what happened here. All right. Um, so literally exactly what I was saying before the fight started happened there. Um, lost my gargoyle dashes. I should have done from the beginning. I should have swapped the king for sure, 100%. I literally said it, and I didn't do it. But um, lost the gargoyle dashes in the air, didn't have a way to dodge the laser beam, and from there it was just like downhill. I also did like a bad king swap that sent me careening into like a, a wave of damage. So it is what it is. I still think this runs cool, so I'm not going to like scrap it or anything. And it also shows the power of Gargoyle, even though it lost. Um, like Gargoyle definitely showed what he's made of there. Um, if I had played better, we would have uh, had a victory. But it is what it is. I'm not too upset about it. Um, it happens. Uh, there is definitely like, you know, I'm not so blind of a gargoyle defender that i will say that like there is no jank with this character the in air dashes <laughs> like you can get into situations like that where like you're literally just a sitting duck and there is nothing you can do about it um i guess one thing you could do to make up for that is have an iframe partner skull like like have a character who has iframes on their swap as well such as a uh, frost skull so if you do get caught in a situation like that you can swap away and fix it so Excuse me. Uh, it is what it is. Still think the run was cool, and I'm happy with it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I'm loving this fucking update so much. It's such a good update. Like, 
I can't stress enough how good of an update this actually is. One thing that's interesting is maybe the finger flick was a mistake. I don't know. Like, because the, the buffs to stun were duration-based. So, I don't know. It's possible that, uh, that it's, you like, finger flick is kind of worse because you want the stun duration. If you have armor finger fear, finger flick is just bad. You don't want finger flick if you have armor fear. Though maybe it's okay now that um, stun enhanced got buffed as hard as it did. Maybe now you can make finger flick armor if your work in your favor. But I don't know. It's probably still the case that you don't. I don't know. Th there's a lot of experimentation to be experimentation to be done with stun. I personally don't know why the devs buffed stun as hard as they did. I, I think there's like a consensus or like a prevailing narrative in the community that stun is bad. I don't even know how anyone could say that. Like honestly. Um, stun wa was already the best status by a lot and now it's like so good it's insane like it's actually crazy how powerful stun is so I don't know uh, all I know is I enjoyed my time and I hope you guys did as well thank you for your constant consistent support uh, also close to 3000 which is really fucking cool uh, didn't think I'd really get to this point 3000 is a pretty sizable amount of fucking people <laughs> so I appreciate all of you, um, and that's all I got, so thank you guys for watching, I appreciate y'all, and I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.